Welcome to the new AP Galaxy and today I will be showing you a brand new tutorial on how to install the mini CM9 ROM onto the Xperia X8 which is Ice Cream Sandwich version 4.0.4 .4. so stay tuned and follow the tutorial carefully and you will have this ROM successfully installed on your Xperia X8. <laughs> Okay, so this is the second uh, piece of software you need. It's called it's called a flash tool, and this is the 64-bit version. Also comes in 32-bit. So this will essentially enable you to flash any kernel to you want to your phone, and it is also the tool that you'll use to unlock the bootloader. And now that is a very important process. If you're familiar with my videos and my work before, you need to know that you have to have an unlocked bootloader to install any of the great new custom ROMs that come out. Um, and unlocking the bootloader is very very simple, but uh, there, is, there are you know a couple of uh, specific uh, requirements that you need to have. For example, the, the uh, manufacturing date of your phone. Uh, you know, if all of that's correct, then you can unlock your bootloader. If it's not, then you can, uh, then the, um, then the phone can be permanently bricked. And I'm talking about a hard brick, so, you know, you have to go to Sony Ericsson to get it fixed. It might not even be able to, uh, it might not be able to get fixed, but, yeah, you know what I mean. So, it's v you have to be very careful with uh, unlocking the bootloader. But once you have unlocked your bootloader, then you can easily install any custom kernel and therefore install any custom ROM. So, now we are going to be flashing the custom ROM, uh, uh, the custom kernel. So, if you go ahead and just click on this lightning bolt symbol, and you'll get this menu up called the mode selector. So, we're going to select flash mode, press OK and you can see it points directly to the, your C drive the flash tool folder and the firmware's folder so it's the firmware's folder where you transfer all of the um, kernels into now you can see these are all the kernels I have and you can see these two kernels up here uh, the NAA kernel and we are going to be using the NAA ICS kernel because obviously we're installing a ice cream sandwich ROM so click on this and press OK and here it will show you instructions on how to connect your phone but into flash mode so it's very simple all you do is unplug the device power it off or you can take the battery out then you you can either swap these two steps so you can either press the press and hold the back button and plug in the USB cable or you can do the opposite where you have the USB cable plugged in and when you when you put the battery in press and hold the back button so that's what we're gonna do right now Alright, see so here is the beautiful X8. Now we're going to try the method that's suggested by Flash Tool. So the phone is completely powered off. And what I'm going to do is, I have my USB cable here that is plugged into my computer. So I'm going to press and hold the back button. And at the same time, I'm going to insert the USB cable. And you can see it's green, the light has gone green. And that means that we are in flash mode. As you can see there, the green LED, so we are in flash mode. Right, so that tutorial was a quick one, showed you how to connect your phone in flash mode. Um, now we're back to the screen, and now I'm going to show you um, how to flash the kernel. So I'm just... Sorry for that, I'm just going to connect my phone in flash mode. It's connected in flash mode, as you can see there and it's um and it's flashed the kernel and it's disconnected the device so that's how easy it is to um to flash the kernel you just connect your phone in flash mode and um everything will be flashed so you see the flashing finished and starting flashing so it takes about just a matter of seconds really and now we have to um copy and paste the rom file the dot zip file from your computer to your phone's SD card. So after you do, after you've done that, I will show you how to install the ROM on your phone. Okay, so the copying and pasting is done, and now I'm going to go ahead 
and the phone is being turned on and uh, I'm gonna press keep pressing the back button to enter the uh, recovery menu you can see we have the NAA kernel and it says ICS in the corner right there so I keep pressing the back button there we go we are in the clockwise recovery menu now we go now first step is to just wipe everything from the phone so we go down to this step here wipe data uh, slash factory reset make sure that you've taken a backup using clockwork one if you don't know that I'll quickly show you all you do is you go all the way down to the backup and restore and uh, select backup by pressing the home menu I'll go back so wipe data factory reset yes delete all user data it's formatting everything and data wipe is complete right after the data wipe is complete I'm gonna go ahead and wipe the cache partition as well yes so that wiping is done now we go into advanced and wipe the dalvik cache as, as well yes and we also wipe battery stats all right so we've backed every we've wiped everything um, and now we are going to select install zip from SD card choose zip and go go to your folder or basically find the ROM that you transferred to the SD card in my case I've put it in the folder called ROMs sorry you can't see that there yeah the folder called ROMs so I'm going to go ahead in there and have the folder called ICS ROMs and there is minicm9.zip so I'm gonna go ahead and flash that you can see it says here compatible kernel found that's important that means that it will definitely work so it's copying the system and I'll get back to the video when it's done okay so it says here uh, minicm9 version 3.0.2 is installed and it also says to remember to flash the Google Apps so that is now so that's what we're gonna do now so we go back into choose zip from SD card scroll all the way down to my ROMs folder there we go ICS ROMs and you can see Google Apps zip the first one there Google Apps zip so I'm gonna go ahead and press that and choose yes and it's installing the Google Apps okay so the Google Apps have been uh, successfully installed now we're gonna go and reboot the system and we should see the new boot um, animation So that's the kernel weird animation. And there it is, mini CM9. It's you know, quite nice smooth um, animation. And it's flashing, so I'll get back when all the setup is done and I'll, I'll quickly show you around the ROM and see and show you what the new features are. Okay, so this is the welcome screen start and you'll just go through the setup like uh, connect your Google account and sync everything the date and time so I'm just gonna go through that very quickly uh, so um, I'll not sign in now uh, use Google location okay uh, this phone belongs to um, yeah so just it doesn't matter next next and there you go setup complete your phone is ready to be used So this is the uh, home screen. It's a bit bit slow at first, but after you you know overclock it and stuff, it should become faster. Here's the browser. Just see if it works. Yep, the browser is working. And oh yeah, um, in the in the earlier ROM, the earlier version, the camera wasn't working. And so they have obviously fixed that. So let me go ahead and launch the camera app. 
Yep, we have a fully functional camera. I'll just take a, a picture and show you. There you go, there's a picture. Right there, loaded off my desk. Um, this, so we just look at the menu. Um, of the ice cream sandwich. You can choose some apps and um, you have all your widgets here. So it's a very fa a fairly neat and a pretty rom so uh, that's the end of the video uh, thank you for watching and remember that this is a new service from uh, uh, called AP Galaxy and we'll be uploading new videos every Tuesday so make sure to subscribe check us out on Facebook and Twitter uh, thank you for watching